Hello, so for today's video, we're going to be what? Hello, so for today's video, we're going to be doing this blue glitter cut crease full glam look because we're feeling it. Last week, I done a pink look, so I'll link that in the eye if you want to see something a little bit different and not blue. But I'm feeling blue today, so that's what we're going to do. So I've already done brows, brow highlight, prep the eyelids, and I've stuck some tape down because we're going to do a winged eyeliner today. God save my soul. And yeah, so everything's all listed in the bottom bar in case you want to know what I'm wearing and stuff. But I'm going to zoom you in and we can get started. Okay, so for today's palettes, I'm going to take the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival Free Love Tahiti palette. Um, I've just done looks with these in case you want to see different looks. I also link those like below and in the eye and stuff so you can go and check them out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take, because there's literally two blue shades in it and I literally only need two blue. Um, if you wanted something more of a range, like this to me is like very like set colours, if you know what I mean. Whereas the Carnival Extra Large palette, sorry. So can't, was it Carnival 2? I can't even remember. It's behind me. It has like an array of different ones. Like this is like, to me, like you can sort of do in quads, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to start off by taking the Deep, which is this dark blue shade. And I'm going to take it on a Sigma E36 blending brush. And we're just going to take that through the crease. So taking it like just below it. So it's like going into the socket and then a little bit above as well. So when, rather than taking it out, I'm going to like take it down to the tape. Almost creating like this rounded shape. Okay, so now I'm going to take the crown brush. So this is the C429 and just blend this through slightly. So I'm going to take that lighter blue to like really buff it out with. Then I'm going to take the dark blue shade again and just pack like this on the outer corner. So I'm going to do a half cut crease. Okay, so I'm just going to clean the Sigma brush that we used in this little thing. It's from Colour Switch. It's literally like sponge and it just gets off any powder product so you can go ahead and use a different powder. So, um, loads of different companies doing it, by the way, you can get from like Primark, W7 Makeup, like you don't have to go out and buy name brand. It's just a bit sponge. So, now we're going to take Lagoon in the palette, which is, good God, this one right here. And we're going to blend this, like, around the top of this bit. Just like so. So we sort of got this gradient effect going on. I'm just going to further buff that some more. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So I'm just going to take, this is Wet Wild Concealer. This is just a concealer I don't particularly love. Um, it's the Photo Focus one, in case you wanted to know. But I typically just use concealers that just don't appeal to me because I need them for something, you know. So I'm going to take the Peaches and Cream. This is the PC51 brush. I've done a wire look because I always use this brush to cut the crease. And you really want to make sure this is like soaked. Um, it works best that way, I find. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to take the brush, give it a product, look up, see like this tiny, tiny blob, so we're going to cut our crease too, so literally just take the brush and just like put it along and then when I get to like this sort of bit here, I just take the brush and just drag out to where I want it to stop. So probably about here. Then I take my brush and literally lay it flat and just do this. Then I'll just go ahead and sort of just tidy up any little bits that are like messy. So while it is wet, I can't look up. I know it's rude. I'm not looking at the camera. But I take a brush like this, so I applied my eyeshadow base with this, and I just take it and pat this out, 
just so it's not too wet otherwise you can get more transfer and yeah like I feel like it, if I open my eye fully like sometimes it can go really like above and obviously I don't want that so yeah I'm just gonna do that then I'm just gonna clean the Sigma brush again in the little color switch we can go ahead and blend this through also take your finger and just sort of pat it out in the corner this is just a little bit of blending work we will like do more once we get the lid color on and stuff but now i just like to do a little bit also pick up a bit of the shade if you feel necessary and also go in that way so i took the deep one which was obviously the first shade we took then for lid colour, I'm actually going to take vanilla first and then I'm going to take a pigment. I just want to put something like flat down before I put on the pigment because I want the pigment to be not opaque. I want it to be like a little bit like just extra, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to take vanilla first and I'm going to take that on the Spectrum A16. I'm just going to place this over the lid. Obviously, if you're taking just this, I would recommend cleaning the base because as you can see, like it's not completely... Um, flat obviously i've got some of the blue in it so i would usually remove the base but because i'm going in with a pigment i'm not overly bothered okay so for pigments i'm going to take the ColourPop, and the packaging is like white on white but i have the box here so this is the loose glitter in far out and it literally just like this white glittery pigment super beautiful i feel like especially with the blue and I'm also going to take the NYX Clear Primer. So I literally just take a dollop of this on the back of my hand. Um, obviously, you could take it onto a palette or something, which I do have behind me because I'm going to use it for foundation. But we're here now. And I'm going to take this on a Spectrum A13. So this is like a more fluffier, bigger brush because I don't, like I said, I don't want it to be super opaque. I just want a little something extra. So I just take this and just sort of pat this all over. Then just going into the pigment on the same brush. What I love about these pigments, like especially these shades, is that you could take any shade you wanted to, say like you wanted to take pink, green, whatever, and put it on top and it just adds sparkle. Like if you wanted to do like a thin layer, if you, if you wanted to go like fully opaque, you'd get the full effect. I feel like you can still sort of see that vanilla shade underneath and that's what I love about these. Okay, so now that we've got that on, I'm just going to take the Sigma brush again and just blend out this, like, glitter shade so it looks more blended. Um, obviously, glitters can be, like, a bugger to blend, so just sort of keep at it till you're happy. And also take the brush. This is the brush I put vanilla on with, and you can just sort of drag it over as well i find that that sort of helps okay so now we're going to do winged eyeliner so i'm going to take the inglot this is the gel eyeliner in the shade 77 it's just black and i'm going to take it on a sigma e06 um brush i love this brush it is super super small super sized such a great brush so i'm just gonna go into this fingers crossed this goes well and I'm just going to draw a wing. <laughs> so I do like to keep it quite um, thin at the front. So I do recommend rather than going on top, if you actually go underneath with the brush and almost turn it like this, you can keep that really thin line. Just like so. But then that probably end up thicker layer anyway. But yeah, that's what a little technique, I guess. That just find it easier to do it that way. So I think the eyeliner's done. We'll find out soon. I'll probably add more. I'm just going to take this in the top waterline. So this is one off. This is the Model Co. Gel something eyeliner in black. Um, this is really, really good. I love this. It's like super... It's not super, super thin, but it's thin. Um, yeah, I just love this. It's so great. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously do the other eye, apply lashes and mascara off camera. So the lashes I'm going to wear today are the Unicorn Lashes in Cherry Top. 
I love these. These are like my favourite lash ever. So, so beautiful. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll be back for the base. Okay. okay. I forgot I was recording, so I have a big dollop of uh, primer on my skin. <laughs> um, but, yeah, lashes and stuff are on. So, now we're going to move on to the skin. So, I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Unicorn Essence. I usually do, like, the rose gold one. Like, I love the rose gold one. I only tried this one, so I was like, I'll give it another go. There is glitter in it, but I'm not overly bothered because, I mean, I've got glitter on my face anyway and I'm using, like, a glittery highlighter, so sometimes I like a bit of glitter. So I'm just going to... This is thick, by the way, so it's, like, not easy to come out. But, yeah, I'm just going to do that typical... <laughs> oh, my face crack because I just can't be bothered. I'm going in quite heavy with this. My skin... It's like weird lately it's been kind of dry so i'm just gonna take my hands and just put this in so for foundation today i'm going to mix two because i have got a bit of self tan on so these are both the same they're the pure four in one love yourself selfie long wear foundation and concealer i love these oh, i love this they are so so good and really good foundation so i have lg3 which is like obviously my normal shade ish i think this is a little bit too yellow but I like a yellow foundation anyway and i have tg3 which is obviously way too dark so i do mix so i take a pump of lg3 which is the light one this is going onto a palette by the way i'm not just like throwing it on my desk and i take about half a pump of tg3 by the way this is like super full coverage so you don't need an awful lot and also like you can twist it up and use it as concealer so say like you've got a like stubborn area you can just like dot it on and get more of a like um a full full effect if you wanted to go lighter with the foundation and i'm rambling but it's so good <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna mix that and put that on the face oh sorry i'm blending this out with the cover effects this is the liquid foundation brush I'm also just going to take a damp beauty blender just to like sort of soak up some of the excess that might be on the skin and not like blended out. Okay, and so for concealer today, I'm going to take the Revlon. This is the Candid, or Photo Ready Candid Antioxidants Concealer, and this is in 010 Vanilla. I don't know if this is the lightest shade or not. I've said this in the previous video that i've done with the pink look um that it's too light for my normal skin tone like it just blends in like it doesn't really highlight but it's nice when i've got a bit of self tanner on so i'm just gonna take that and right in the corner and a little bit on the outer eye sort of take this down here like so i don't go all the way across because this blends out to that far away so i don't see the point in taking too much concealer right on the cupid's eye and then go across all of the chin i never used to like honey on the chin but i feel like it just balances it out and the forehead just take it through this little bit here I'm like join it back down to the nose. And what I like to do is I like to let this dry before I move before I blend it out. So I'm just gonna move on to cream concealer. Obviously, if you don't use like a cream concealer, then you can just sort of sit and wait. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take this shade. Oh, I didn't even say what this was. This is the RCMA um highlight and contour palette. This is actually really, really nice. So I'm just going to take this shade. I might mix a little bit of this one in as well, but for now, we're we'll sticking with this. And this is the Spectrum A18. I'd like to take it around my forehead. Almost like literally round. It all joins back through. And take a bit down my nose as well. I'm going to take a small brush, but this one, get pretty good with it because it's not that big. 
the brush I like to use typically for my nose is the um, Lux. Is it like JD Wady One Eight Two brush? It's like their nose contouring brush. Just mix a bit of that darker one in, just like a teeny bit. Just like dot it on, just around that area there. So I'm going to blend out the contour first. I do need a brush this brush we're going to take this one so this is the crown brush c436 and i'm just gonna actually blend that through So to blend out the concealer, I'm going to take the Hourglass um, Seamless Concealer Brush. Obviously with my nose and like my lip area, I want to blend out my contour. I literally just blend it on my nose. It just blends into one really. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Do you know what I didn't do? I didn't put a bit of concealer this side. <laughs> I've got blob that side and not this side. So I'm just going to do that. I'll wait for that to dry before I blend that bit out. I'll just go ahead and do the rest of it. Just gonna take my beauty blender and just sort of go over. So to set just the under eyes, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Brightening Powder, and I love this. This is so good um, compared to like the other Laura Mercier one that I, yeah, just I don't like. Um, this is a, this is real good. So I'm just gonna take that on a Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is a powder and sculpt brush. Put this underneath the eyes. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexing Perfecting Micro Powder in Fair 1. I'm literally just going to take it on the same brush. This is such a good powder. I'm just going to dot this all around the face. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more powder contour because, like I said, this is full glam. And if we're going full glam, then we've got to just do the absolute best. So this is the KVD Shade and Light Palette. So I'm going to mix these four shades. I like to mix the highlight shades in with it because I feel like it just mutes it down a bit and it doesn't look too contoury. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to take that on a Real Techniques contour brush and just add a little bit more. Just around the cheeks and the forehead. Then for bronzer, I'm going to take the Maybelline City Bronzer and this is the bronze and contour powder in uh, where am I? Medium warm, medium warm 250, and I'm going to take that on a what's this brush? A Spectrum CI7. <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking you. You don't know. And yeah, I'm just going to add a little bit of this as well, just to bronze up. I know it's got a bit of contour in it as well, but we're here now, and I've done it. Plus, this is such a good bronzer, by the way. Like I tried this in a recent video. Um, it was like full face of drugstore makeup like testing it out um i'll link that in the eye this is like one of those things that i was like yeah buy like one of the elf products that i tested out but this is so good and i still really do love the elf products but this is like i'm impressed highlight so i'm going to take this so this is the lush feeling younger skin tint and yeah i just love this product um usually it's all right on top of powder i know like i put like a lot of powder on but typically it's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this on the back of my hand and then just pat a little bit out of my finger and not get it all over my nails. My nails, by the way, are from OPI. This is Teal, it's in Teal. The cows come home and I was like, that's such a cute name. Um, Yeah, so, so beautiful. I love OPI varnishes. I'm just going to put this on the tops of the cheeks for now because I'm going to go in with a powder highlight as well. But you'll see that in a minute. Then on a Spectrum A12, I'm just going to take a little bit down my nose. I'm going to take a little bit on this cutie so. Then I'm going to take the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Get Wet um highlighter and this is in the shade do do you <laughs> to me that like, i can't i can't say it's like baffling in my brain 
um, yeah, like dewy, you know, like not do. <laughs> um, this is like a cream to powder situation, kind of like, do you know the ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks, like that? Um, this is very glittery, by the way, so if you're not into that, you will not like this at all. But because I've got like a really bold look, I love like a bit of glitter on the face for some reason. Don't know why, I just do. I was like, no, I hate glittering highlighters, but I actually don't mind it. So I'm just going to put that on top. This is a Crown Brush C529. So it's just, just really pretty. So yet again on the Spectrum um, A12, I'm just going to a little bit of that on the inner corners i'm not going to do anything to the lower lash line i think i'm just going to add mascara because i love the way my eyes look like this i feel like it just opens them up um so yeah i'm just gonna a little bit of that there then for blush i'm going to take the milk cosmetics so this is the cali dream blush and it's just like this nice peachy shade oh love this and i'm going to take it on an elf stippling brush and just add this to the cheeks so I'm just going to take mascara on the bottom lashes. So this is the KBD Go Big or Go Home. And this is what I have on the top as well. But you're literally going to see none of this. You're going to see the top of my head. And I'm just going to take some like finishing setting spray. So this is the Revolution Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray. So I'm just going to spritz this on top. And I'm going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Uh, and spritz that on top as well. So for lips, I'm going to take the Patrick Tar. So this is the Precision Lip Crayon in She's Humble. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. So I put lipstick on and yeah, it wasn't recording. But this is the Patrick Tar. And this is the Monochromatic Moment Silky Lip Cream in She's Unapologetic. And I just literally dabbled this on. Took a Spectrum brush and just blended it out. I put a little bit more on. See what I sort of done. So literally just a dot, 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 dot. And then just took this brush and just fatted it out. So this is the Spectrum A15. And because I am a lip gloss gal, I'm going to take this. So this is from Luna Beauty and this is their lip gloss in Celine. Mm, such a beautiful shade. Like his lip gloss is phenomenal. Like so good. So I'm just going to put this on top. Oh, it smells divine as well for starters. Okay, so this is the completed look and I love how it turned out. I think it's super, super beautiful. Yeah, just something a little bit fun, like colour, but you know, like glammed up, you know? Yeah, I love this. Um, what we got coming in future videos? I just received the Royal Beauty Christie and Colourpop stuff that I ordered and I'm waiting on Kylie and the Grinch collection, which I'm so excited for. But, um, we'll probably see that first before the Colourpop stuff because I'm waiting for it to arrive still but hopefully it will come up before this video or after this video. I'm not too sure but yeah I'm super excited. So yes uh, this is the finished look and obviously don't forget to subscribe because you want to see the Kylie and Grinch collection don't you? Even though I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed. Bye.